Acting Commissioner of Police Collis Hazel and Senior Sup Rodhill Kirk have been removed from their posts at the helm of the TNT Police Services Tobago Division. But while Hazel could not confirm the news yesterday, Kirk did, saying he had given crime-fighting efforts on the island his best try. In a phone interview, Kirk thanked Tobagonians for their support. He lamented, Tobago is a unique division, meaning that to operate in the Tobago space, you have to have a level of the Tobago culture. Kirk said he accepted the decision made by the TPS administration and was contented that he'd done his best for Tobago. It's a small division, but a lot of people feel it doesn't have its challenges. Tobago is a challenging division because of multiple factors, I believe. Given the resources that I need, I would have been able to create some sort of change. Guardian Media understands Kirk will be transferred to the Southern Division. The reassignments will happen in two weeks, and by October, Tobago's policing division will be under new management. This decision follows a tragic milestone in which Tobago's murder toll reached a record 22 after another man was shot dead in Parlativier on Monday. Also contacted for comment, Hazel, who was appointed ACP to Tobago in May 2023, said he'd heard rumors of the changes but couldn't confirm them. He said, so I haven't gotten any that has been banding about, and until I get something from my boss's official on that, then I would be able to speak on that, Hazel said. When asked about the changes yesterday, Minister in the Ministry of National Security Keith Scotland was mum on the issue. I can't. Neither can I confirm nor deny. I neither confirm nor deny, he said. But Chief Secretary Farley Augustine said the reassignment follows a decision made by the National Security Council in July to combat complacency and contempt bred by familiarity, adding it will be vital in Tobago's continued fight against crime. When the National Security Council met in Tobago on July 9th, a decision was taken to begin moving around members of the TPS in order to remove the curse of complacency, and in Tobago's case specifically, to eradicate the contempt bred by familiarity. This is just that decision materializing after two months, Augustine said. I want to express gratitude to Mr. Hazel and Mr. Kirk for their tireless efforts in the fight against crime in Tobago. I wish them success in their future endeavors. Hazel's new posting as head of the TPS Tactical Unit will place him as head of IETF and GEB, and that means he will have an even more crucial role to play in Tobago's war against crime. Meanwhile, Tobago Business Chamber Chairman Martin George said the decision to bring new leadership to Tobago signals the Commissioner of Police is serious about getting immediate results. He welcomed the move, noting Tobago police have been struggling to make a dent in the crime situation. We fully support the Commissioner and endorse any such move to make a change, shake up things in Tobago to ensure that maybe you bring persons who are not so closely connected to the community, persons who are not from Tobago, to take charge, to take leadership, and maybe they might bring fresh ideas, fresh perspectives, and we may see some drastic improvement in policing efforts and to reduce crime and criminality. He said it is madness to expect different outcomes by doing the same thing. When the commissioner takes a decision such as this, it signals something to the population that she wants to see some sort of change. Maybe she wants to see an improvement. Maybe she thinks that there are other persons who are better suited to lead the TPS efforts in Tobago, and she's going to deploy those persons to take charge. Former ACPs agree move necessary. Former ACP Tobago Jeffrey George yesterday said the change in the Tobago division was inevitable, given that the current hierarchy was not getting results. If they were trying and they couldn't create a dent, they need to bring in another team who may be able to create a dent and peg the numbers before we get a larger number. So, bringing in someone with a change of strategy that may have the experience to curb the emerging gang situation. However, he lamented that even during his time as AC, the lack of proper resources hindered their operational planning.